way to Piedmont to the uh, truck repair shop that uh, I'm getting my inspection and stuff done at. But uh, I got my Amazon Chinese bunk heater came in. So I'm going down there. Either I'm going to start install, try to install it myself, start installing it, and just replace it with one I got. Or since I have some uh, credit with them, <coughs> some credit with them where they uh, took my trailer and used it, then uh, I might just get them to install it. That way I can use my credit because I don't really use them for anything. So might as well get something uh, small out of the way and uh, use the credit I got so I don't have to pay for it. What are we doing? At the lake? What are we doing at the lake? Waiting for Slavic. Come on, what's Slavic gonna bring? Boat? Boat! Yeah! We're gonna go on it. Yeah, we're gonna go on boat. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go look at the water. I think. Yeah. We're just chilling today, Juan. We're working on our truck. Uh, during the uh, annual inspection, the mechanic guy found a couple problems with the uh, truck found two wheel seals leaking and also he said the uh, carrier bearing needed to be replaced. So uh, he's doing that. And then I had one of the little pins on my slack adjuster, not the big one, but the small one, I guess the Carter key came out and the little pin uh, vibrated and came out. So he's got to put a new pin and a Carter key and uh, replace wheel seals and a carrier bearing and then Gonna switch out my bunk heater. I bought a, like a hundred fifty dollar Chinese heater off of eBay instead of spending thousand bucks on a new S bar heater. So winter time is almost already over, anyways. But I just want to have it just in case I need it. And plus, I'm gonna trade in my truck, so I'm not trying to spend thousand bucks on a heater that I'm not even gonna have in my truck. So that's what we're doing today. On my head, AJ. Go see what? the water. What? what? What do you see in there? You see anything? Uh, I see a gallon in the water. A gallon in the water? Uh -huh. Yeah, you got some good eyes, boy. What else you see? Uh, trees and sticks and logs. What's your step? Uh, crush it. AJ's turn. Yeah, crush it. I'll smush it like a bug. Come on, boy. Somebody over here with a boat? Jaja -ja fixing his trailer, yeah? Right up. Brand new boat. They ain't worry about no battery. Yeah, start right away. Right away. Say, I hope the battery not dead. I was like, man, it's a brand new boat. The battery shouldn't be dead. Been sitting for a couple of months, but it's fired right up. Taking the boat off, so now we gotta go park.
Hey. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Look. Hey. David, man, you almost crashed us. <laughs> I got a load for it tomorrow. Oh, you did? Well, I just got up and jumped up, hit the road on the car because well, I dropped my truck and trailer off for the annual inspection and they found a couple other things like wheel seal and uh, carrier bearing. So they uh, called me this morning, the owner called me. So I was like, man, why is the owner calling me? He was like, hey, uh, yeah, we have a pro little problem with your trailer. Uh, yesterday when my mechanics were pulling out with your trailer and uh, you kind of like uh, messed up your side skirt on your trailer. So I cannot order the same one. I have to order a little bit different one. So I want to send you a picture of what it looks like first. So, I don't know. I'll just put some clothes on and jump in the car to come down here to check it out and see what's really going on or, you know, make sure they didn't mess up anything else. So, the only reason I came there is basically because they, I had $500 credit with them for, uh, left over from when uh, they stole my trailer or took my trailer from the yard, one of the drivers did. So, I got cash and credit from him. So I just came down here for the credit to use it, but I should have known better. Now I have to deal with all this other stuff, so. Now I'm uh, worried and I'm on the way down there to see what's going on with my trailer because I need to hit the road. So hopefully it's not like too bad messed up or I don't know what I'm gonna do, take off the skirts or what, so we'll see. I'm close here, but I uh, got here. They already took this part off, so I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, I got damage here. So what happened is uh, the guy that I told not to work on my truck or trailer was the guy that was pulling it in and out. I guess they use them to pull in and out of trailers and do small stuff or whatever until they get to it. But anyway, there was nobody beside me. And then uh, when he got done, somebody pulled beside me. And so uh, when he was pulling out, he turned and scraped the whole side of my trailer, the apron and bent it and broke it off. So, uh, now uh it's uh, messed up so this side here is the one that i already scraped before and uh, everywhere they call they don't have these brand in stock so they don't have to change the brand they have a company thermo king apu uh, in greenville well not apu but thermo king in greenville they have some but it's a different brand so since it's a different brand it's like thousand bucks for both aprons together and six hundred and seven dollars just for the one side they damaged so but they don't want to put one that's different from the other so they have their own trailer here that they're just going to switch it we're going to put this 
Look how close they parked the trailers. So that's the one they're gonna replace it with. And then I got uh, my light broke off. So they're getting a new light.